hello and welcome to this week's angling vlog. This week you join me on the banks of the beautiful Grimsditch Mill. We're in search of tench and bream on the waggler. Before we get into this week's vlog, again, I want to say thank you to everybody that's been leaving such nice comments on the channel. It's great to hear how you guys are getting on. And to you lads who turn up on a Friday for the premiere, great to see how you guys are getting on as well. If you are new around here, my name's Danny, and every Friday at 6pm, we put a new fishing video on the channel. If you check the backlog, there's all manner of fishing to go at. So if you enjoy it, please leave the videos a like and subscribe to the channel. So back to today, and you do join me after a mad week in work. It's a Sunday morning. As you can see, it's blue skies. And the mill behind me looks very different than it did a couple of weeks ago. Driving past there a couple of times, it was grey, dreary. But today, the greens are starting to show. The sun's in the sky. And hopefully, Mr. Breen and Mr. Tench are awake. Let's take a look at the swim, how we're going to approach it, the baits we're going to use, and hopefully the tactics that are going to put Mr. Tench on the bank. So with the sun behind me, hopefully that shows off the venue a bit more. You can just see how beautiful it looks. You've got all the, the green showing on the willow and not yet got the lilies up. And it is a bit earlier than I would normally come and try for Tench. But it's been very warm of late, up to 18, 19 degrees. So hopefully the pool's awake. While I've been stood here, I've been seeing the odd fish top. Looking at the swim, there's my box, the side tray. I have put the keep net in, but we are going to be targeting quality fish today. So I'm hoping that a keep net won't be needed. Um, tactics wise, I'm going to fish the waggler and I'm going to be aiming in the shadow of this tree here with the waggler. There's been plenty of fish moving on the pool. The rod we're going to use today is my 14 foot Corum Glide. I've got that matched up with the switch reel and on there I've got four pound line. Side tray, nice and simple. See there I've got the hooks and the weights, everything you need. I've got corn. I've got some of the Hinders hemp that I've added some chilli to. And we've got red maggot. I'm hoping we're going to be airing more towards these baits today than the maggot, but you never know. You can see there, fish just topped. We have picked the lazy man swim. You can see the car's only there, but it is a Sunday morning. So I'm just starting by just putting a bit of maggot in over a bit of an area. Obviously, you know, when you're waggler fishing, it does give you that option to spread it out a bit. So you've got that margin for never. It's not like when you're fishing with the pole and you're right on top of your bait. But a bit of maggot, a few grains of the hemp. I'm just gonna put one or two grains of the corn over. I'm gonna start off on double maggot on the hook. A size 14 hook, so I've got double maggot on. And today, we are hoping, you know, for a few quality fish maybe. But starting off on maggot will let us see what's in the swim. It's a beautiful morning to be on the bank. There's a kingfisher, just keeps going on the rope over there. There's one or two fish topping. We've got that float dotted right down and I've just got it about four inches over depth at the moment. I'm just going to periodically put some maggot over the top and little bits of hemp. And hopefully, we'll get one or two bites. I was just about to, to turn the uh, GoPro off and move on to the next bit where, you know, you wait for the bite. And <laughs> yeah, so apologies if my hand went over the top then. <laughs> that hasn't taken too long, has it? Coming on that double red maggot, and that's not a bad way to start the session. It looks like a bream. So not a bad way to start the session. A bar of bronze. Just coming on that double red maggot. And again, apologies if you see my hand come up to the camera. But I wasn't expecting a bite that quick. Let's get it straight back. So it really did take me by surprise, that did. I didn't expect a bite that quick. We're going to go straight back over the top with a double red maggot again. 
and just feed over the top. When you get a bite that quick, you know, doesn't always feel like you've attracted them in. It's like it's been in the area type thing. So we'll take it easy with the feeding still. But yeah, nice to get a bite so quickly. And you can have all the plans in the world. But at the start of the session, if you don't make your donation to the local gods, also known as the Robins, you really haven't got a chance. With some beautiful wildlife there. I'm not quite sure what that small one is there. But Mr. Robin, you've got to keep him happy if you're going to have any chance. So if any of you guys know what that is, just pop it in the comments below. It's a lovely little bird. And there comes the old sergeant. So it's taken probably 10 minutes for the next bite, just been feeding that maggot over the top. Um, not getting carried away obviously because you never really know how it's going to go. Um, the second bite, a little skimmer. And that is why I never get carried away when I get a bite first cast. Very easy to think you're going to have an A1 day. But just continuing to feel yourself into it, you can judge the swim. So I've just looked into a slightly better fish. I was just grabbing my maggots to fire some over the top and the float buried. And it was one of those bites where you hit it at the last minute. <laughs> and nine times out of ten you miss it. But this time we've connected with it. It's nice to be out on the waggler and getting a few bites. But what we don't want is him to head down the gap or learn that that gap's there. I guess this is where we'll learn if our two pound hook link was a mistake. You've got to take your time. Hopefully it's a tench, that's what I'm hoping, but I'm saying not seeing him yet. So at the start of this vlog, the target or the hope was a tench, and there we go, a beautiful tench coming towards the end of March. And yeah, you've got the lovely pool behind. So what started out was a good session, kind of petered out. Um, Mr. Tench come along, we had that bream, the first cast, they went really quiet. Not many signs of fish either. The beauty of the limb card is just around the corner, there's another venue, and around the other corner, there's a couple more. So what I've done, the same bait, same setup. Um, we dropped on to village pool. And um, we're going to see what we can catch in the afternoon. Pretty quickly, put my box in, got my landing net, got the corn, hemp, maggots. I'm going to plumb the depth and we're just going to feed positively and see what comes along. Of course, I won't be putting the keep net in because it's been in the other venue. You don't want to spread diseases like that, it's very easy to do. So, yeah, the keep net won't be going in and I've swapped the landing net head as well on my landing net. So, yeah, excited to see what we can catch and make the most of this afternoon. Normally when we come to this venue, we have a couple of options and we really find down our rig. Um, I've still got that size 14 hook on and um, a two pound hook link. I haven't changed anything about the rig and it is just gonna be about fishing for whatever comes along. Still using the maggots hemp and sweet corn. I'm just lining up with that bush in front of me. I've got the rig set, so it's got a number eight weight, just as it touches the bottom. This type of fishing is the type of fishing that, you know, I'd normally do if I wasn't recording a video. You know, just nip out with the rod and a bit of bait for whatever comes along. So if you're interested in a bit of waggler fishing, leave a comment down below and we'll head out with the waggler rod and do some fishing. So I'll just connect with the first slightly better one. And when you do go fishing quite a bit, you do get a good feeling of when it's not happening. And it most definitely wasn't happening on Grimsditch this morning after them tench and that bream. And it's all about getting a few bites. And that's a lovely roach. Just having a bit of patience and just waiting. 
you know, for the fish to arrive, it, they're never really always going to be in front of you all the time. If you start to see one or two fish topping. Um, it's a, just my type of fishing this really. Just spraying maggots and catching silvers. And when you've got rud in your venue, almost certainly the first to the party will be them rud. Taking the maggots as they fall through the water. And the beauty of feeding that way, where you can put some bait on the bottom and some bait on the top, is that corn that's on the bottom, when your maggot settles, you know there's always bait on the bottom. And species like this skimmerbream are always going to come into that hemp and corn. The beauty of this venue, you never know what your next bite's going to be. Fin perfect great fun. In an ideal world we'd be sat on Grimm's Ditch now catching these one a chuck but you've got to be proactive sometimes and it's definitely improved results today moving venue. With that hemp and that corn on the bottom, them little skimmers, you just know that daddy skimmers about. <laughs> Almost certainly going to be attracted by that hemp and them bits of corn. And we've hooked into a proper bream. And that is what I love about fishing the waggler. When you're fishing all the depths, you can get roach on the drop, skimmers on the bottom and you never know when Mr Bream's going to turn up as well. So it's very rarely in fishing you look at a bream and think that looks nice, they're normally covering you in slime and a bit warty. That's a beautiful bream that. Let's let him go. Off he goes bud. And what a lovely example of a roach that is. Absolutely fin perfect. Just coming on that corn on the bottom. And what a lovely roach to end the session on. That Father Silver starting the day with a couple of tench and a bream and we ended it with a Palmer roach. I hope you've enjoyed this little bit of a vlog. This time of year it's all about getting to grips with the waters and the waking up. And that's how you can approach it. Two waters covered in one day and you've got an insight now into both of them let's get this lovely roach straight back and i'll catch us all next week